Hey, what's up, street gods? There, come from there, come street photography blog, reporting live from my favorite city in the world, Mexico City. And I just wanted to share with you some practical thoughts on happiness. So, I think most of us in our lives we're seeking happiness, and there's several things which are problematic with searching for happiness. First and foremost, I think a lot of people tend to equate happiness with pleasure. And obviously pleasure is something that's kind of fleeting and it's not really lasting. So some people might say, oh, I'm happy when I go shopping or, you know, I'm happy when I get a raise or I'm happy when I win the lottery or whatever. Now, the problem with this kind of happiness is that it's not really sustainable. And I think we have a wrong notion of what exactly happiness is. And it's a little bit dark outside, so pardon the, the spooky uh, darkness. Let me see if I can get some light next to the thing here. Okay, that's a lot better. All right, so basically, I would say being in here in Mexico City and also being when I was living in Vietnam in Saigon is probably the happiest I've been in my personal life. And my personal definition of happiness at the moment is I think that happiness is kind of more of a physiological thing. Meaning, to me, happiness is, it's not really like feeling happy. It's more of like being optimistic, being hopeful, feeling physically strong, mentally strong, and also like personally being creatively productive. I think these are things which are really essential to your personal happiness. And I think it's really, really hard in life too because Happiness kind of comes and goes and it's it's kind of uh, one of those things where you have to work to be happy every single day and Certain practical tips I would give about things that have helped me stay happy over the years is uh, Prioritizing your physical health. So a way to prioritize your physical health Make sure you walk a lot. Make sure you shoot photos every single day uh, Lift weights to the gym do push-ups whatever it may be because I think happiness is one of those things where I think happiness is actually more of a physiological thing than a mental thing, meaning you're happiest when your body is strong, you're happiest when your mind is strong, you're happiest when you're essentially uh, creatively productive as well. And actually I think that's one thing that's really essential in happiness that a lot of people don't personally talk about is the importance of your own personal happiness and in terms of essentially doing work which you consider meaningful. And also one thing I think it's really important for us to realize is that happiness doesn't come from external measures of success. So I, d I think one of the worst ways of uh, being happier is thinking that you're happier, oh, you know, when you got a sponsorship or thinking that you're happier when, you know, you get a lot of likes on social media or wherever maybe. I think actually the, one of the best ways to be happier in life is to create your own happiness. And creating your own happiness means to essentially make art, to make photos, to write, do things which you personally feel proud of. Things that you know that you've pushed yourself to limit and things that were personally challenging to you. And things that, like one of those things in life where you just want to share this kind of joy and this these things in, in your own personal life. And so some practical ways to be happier is, you know, do some sort of physical activity every single day, walk around every single day. And I really think that it's, and I mean, obviously like I cannot really control your life. I don't know where you live or what your job or your life situation is, but I would certainly say that living in a country where the cost of living is a lot less has certainly made me a lot happier. Like for example, living here in Mexico City, Cindy and I just went to the most fancy restaurant, one of the most fancy restaurants in town. And essentially it only costs us like, you know, um, for the fanciest dish, only like 14 to $15, which is insane because something like that in San Francisco would have probably been 70 to $80 a plate. And knowing that you could essentially go to any place in the city and eat, take your time, not feel so rushed. And also I think, unfortunately, um, the culture of where you live is actually, I think it's really important to your happiness. So that's why I think it's really essential that you live in a place or a climate. Um, I think weather is really important. Also living, in a city that kind of uh, jives to you, a place that you feel like is open to your personal lifestyle. I know, so once again, I think for myself, I'm happiest in Mexico City or uh, Saigon or Hanoi. Those are my top three favorite cities in the world to live. And I think 
It's also for me, it's important to have a place with good coffee, fast Wi-Fi, good coffee shops, wherever it may be. And I think it's like, you're never really gonna know what makes you happy until you take certain risks in your life and you take certain bold, you know, experimental ways of living. So, uh, you know, I think I generally prefer a more nomadic way of living and I didn't know that until I tried it out with Cindy. And, you know, and every single day treat it like a learning experience and use your own personal body as a, as a barometer. Certain days obviously you're gonna feel happier, certain days you're gonna feel less happier. The days you feel very happy, kind of ask yourself, why do I feel so happy? I mean, so for myself generally, I'm happiest when uh, I've gotten at least eight hours of sleep, so I've slept well, I've had enough coffee during the day. Um, I've kind of enriched my mind with lots of interesting ideas and things and stuff like that. Uh, usually when I'm away from uh, pettiness, rough from bullshit and drama, so that's actually why I like being out of the States too, is that in the States, there's too much drama and stupid stuff happening with the media, the news, politics, whatnot, so I'm kind of glad to be away from that. And essentially, for you to be creatively productive. So. You know, I don't know what your creative productivity is, whether it's you making YouTube videos or writing or blogging or making photos or whatever you're creating, uh, videos or films or whatever maybe. Really focus on being as productive as you can. I mean, I think a lot of people often say quality is more important than quantity, but I think quality, it doesn't really mean anything. It's not really something that's empirical, whereas qu uh, quantity is, you know, Feeling like you could create things and then uh, like kind of like a stream, the stream of art stuff is just kind of coming out of you, coming out of your soul and it's fully expressing itself uh, without any sort of hesitation, without being forced to like even this video, you know, I just had a nice dinner of chicharrones and uh, eggs with Cindy back uh, downstairs in the, the apartment. And I just felt really inspired. I was like, you know, I'm, I'm feeling really happy right now and I just want to share some of my personal thoughts on happiness. I think that happiness is more about creative productivity and it's not about, you know, money, fame, wealth, power, influence, and stuff like that. And so I also think that when you're happier, you're more productive. Uh, you don't need to force yourself to be productive and that's, I think, a thing that's really interesting is that a lot of times we force ourselves to be productive or like whipping ourselves in the back. We're like, oh, I gotta answer these emails and I gotta do, do this and do that. But I think, yeah, once again, it's more important for you to focus on what's personally meaningful to you, to not force yourself, and only really work on things that you're passionate and interested in. Of, of course, we all need to make a living, we need to pay the bills, whatever. Try to figure out how to best do that. But beyond that, know that if you want to really be happy in your life, I think it's something related to art, putting yourself out there, publishing more, the importance of uh, having your own website, your own blog. I personally use 101.com and wordpress.org. I use the Genesis Pro theme. And yeah, and I like making these YouTube videos, anything that's on my mind. Uh, I don't monetize these videos, I just do it purely because I love it. And so doing more of what you love, not caring so much about the, the money, uh, spending time with people you really love and care about. Honestly, I think in life, as long as you have like five really close friends, uh, family members you care about, and also I think uh, your you know, romantic partner is probably gonna be one of the most important things, people in your life, so I'm very grateful to have Cindy, of course. And yeah, to never quit pushing yourself, to never quit being hopeful of the next day, to, to think that tomorrow's gonna be brighter, you're gonna be more smarter, better, more creative and innovative and stuff like that. So always smile, uh, be positive. Uh, what's your personal definition of happiness and productivity and creativity, blah, blah, blah. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below and if you're starting your own YouTube channel, you know, leave a comment saying, hey, you know, my name is da -da -da. check out my videos, I just made a video on da -da -da. I think all of us could continue to th thrive as creators, as substance creators, as, you know, creative artists, individuals, visual experimenters. Let's continue to treat every single day like it's their last. Let's produce as much as we can and really put our whole hearts and souls into it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Peace out.